Hi everyone, my name is Mateus, and today we're going to talk about video games. Popular leaker, The Snitch, has teased yet another announcement that will be made in the near future. On Twitter, The Snitch posted an image of San Francisco, Las Vegas, and Los Angeles. The image is seemingly a nod to the Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC taking place in these locations. The Burning Shores is mentioned by name a couple of times throughout Horizon Forbidden West. It's referred to in Gildan's diary as being south of the Spinebreak and was referenced by Bryn as being the place of flames and brine. Players who attempt to explore further south are currently told to turn back, as it's likely this is the new location for the DLC. Some players have managed to get a closer look using their Sunwing, which looks like there's a replica of the arched memorial bridge near Las Vegas, Nevada, as well as potentially the Hoover Dam. According to rumors, the new Horizon Forbidden West DLC, Burning Shores, will release in April 2023. In September, Lance Reddick, the actor behind Silence said he's working, in a session, for presumably a Horizon Forbidden West expansion. The now-deleted tweet shows Reddick in a short video wearing motion capture dots used to capture facial expressions. A LEGO footballer minifig in 2K, branded packaging has been spotted, seemingly corroborating VGC's exclusive report from earlier this year. In February, VGC reported that LEGO is partnering with 2K for a new line of LEGO sports games, starting with a football-slash-soccer game developed by Sumo Digital. Now a new minifigure spotted on LEGO's certification page by 1414 Falcon fan appears to indicate that the game is indeed still in the works. The packaging shows the character, named Phineas Dash, standing on a football pitch wearing a purple shark head mask and what appears to be a Barcelona shirt. Crucially, the packaging also says LEGO Games at the top and features the 2K logo in the bottom corner, suggesting a game connection. Since Phineas Dash is not a known character in any existing 2K game, he will likely appear in the 2K LEGO football game VGC reported on earlier this year. The figure may not necessarily suggest that the game will have an accompanying toy line, it may be a promotional figure made to be given away at events, perhaps even the game awards, rather than something designed to be sold to the public. In February, VGC exclusively reported that 2K had signed a new multi-game partnership with LEGO, according to sources with knowledge of its plans. The Sumo Digital developed football game will be followed by an open-world LEGO racing game currently in development at WWE 2K22 Studio Visual Concepts, VGC were told. This is the same title mentioned in job listings at the start of 2022 as an open-world driving game with a major license. At the time VGC were told that the football game would be releasing in late 2022 to coincide with the FIFA World Cup, followed by the racing game in 2023. A third LEGO Sports title is also in development, based on a major sports franchise, sources said. Neither 2K nor Sumo Digital responded to requests for comment ahead of VGC original story in February, and a spokesperson for LEGO told the website, we do not comment on speculation about future products or partnerships. From Software will release a free update for Elden Ring this week that will open the game's previously locked coliseums, giving players all new venues and new PvP modes to enjoy. The aptly named Coliseum update for Elden Ring will be released on December 7 on all platforms. Publisher Bandai Namco noted in a video promoting the Coliseum update that arenas in Limgrave, Landel, and Kaled will open their gates, allowing players to engage in battles such as duels, free-for-alls and team fights. A trailer shows players engaged in those activities, and two-on-two -two battles that include Summon Spirit Ashes. FromSoft paved the way for more balanced PvP in October with patch 1.07 for Elden Ring, which added separate damage scaling for PvP, weapons, spells, shields, and other aspects of combat can now be balanced for single-player and cooperative gameplay separately from its competitive multiplayer. 
Plans for a Cyberpunk 2077 multiplayer mode had existed long before the game launched, but in a new update from developer CD Projekt Red, it was revealed that online mode became a casualty of the game's turbulent release. The studio was forced to focus all of its energy on whipping Cyberpunk 2077 into shape, as senior quest designer and coordinator Philip Weber explained to Eurogamer. We really needed to look at what were the priorities for Cyberpunk, after it launched, Weber said. The priority was that the main experience will run for the people in a really good state. And essentially, the switch of priorities meant that other R&D projects had to go away. With Cyberpunk, we wanted to do many things at the same time, and we just needed to really focus and say, okay, what's the important part? Yeah, we will make that part really good. What that multiplayer game would have looked like remains a mystery, as CD Projekt Red kept details of the project tightly under wraps and seldom spoke of it. Last year, CD Projekt President and Joint CEO Adam Kaczynski said that the company had reconsidered its plans for a standalone multiplayer cyberpunk game. Previously we hinted that our next AAA would be a multiplayer cyberpunk game but we have decided to reconsider this plan, Kaczynski said. Given our new, more systematic and agile approach, instead of primarily focusing on one big online experience or game, we are focusing on bringing online into all of our franchises one day. The future of Cyberpunk 2077 does look healthy, as next year we'll see the Phantom Liberty expansion released for the PC, PS5, and Xbox Series XS versions of the game, while a full-fledged sequel is also in development. Beyond those projects, a Cyberpunk 2077 Game of the Year edition is also coming in 2023 once the Phantom Liberty DLC has been released. That's all the news for today, Tuesday, December 6, 2022. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. The links to all the subjects discussed in this video are available in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.